Good evening and welcome back here friends to another prepare 3d video you have caught us here uh, in the newly released or newly updated Southwest 738 uh, or the NGXU from PMDG we're on the descent here into the Los Angeles area landing at uh, LAX uh, currently only 29 minutes into our very quick flight from San Francisco International. As you can uh, see here, pretty clear skies all the way uh, down and around us. And we expect similar weather as we make our way into Los Angeles as well. Pretty non-eventful flight for us this evening. Uh, this video here is more of a test of uh really to see the the update for the ngxu and uh to test out uh my new mic here make sure everything is working as it should before our that's an fno stream on friday uh, so we've initiated descent now let's take a look at our charts here we're going to be descending here via the Iron Man 2 arrival. We've got all of our speed and altitude restrictions programmed into the box as they should be. Uh, let's see. In LAX via the Iron Man 2, we're going to land 2 4 right. So we are uh, in the Southwest livery, as I mentioned, which means we are landing in the North Complex here at LAX. Pretty straightforward arrival or we'll continue southbound uh, head east over downtown LA enter base for then uh, two four right uh, pretty straightforward everyday arrival into LAX this evening uh, we have NGXU well, NGXU we have uh, FS2 crew for the NGXU on as well uh, in a few moments here I will have our first officer initiate our descent procedures uh, LAX, we're going to be parking at uh, Bravo 12 or 12B. So we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, what that looks like upon arrival. Uh, 12B. Okay, so it's the very first terminal here at Los Angeles. So we'll exit 2 4 right. Uh, plenty of runway. We'll go to break uh, 2. We'll exit, cross 24 left, and then come all the way down and park at uh, Bravo 12. Pretty straightforward for us, as I mentioned this evening. Back into the uh, cockpit now. We'll continue to descent down to uh, 9,000. Actually, not 10,000. Our next restriction here is uh, at M dots between 200 and 240. Aircraft is doing a, uh, a good job so far on the descent profile, so we'll let it continue to do its thing here. Descent procedures. Check. Now, one thing I do have to say is um, this update that PMDG released this evening uh, by no means addressed the taxi issues that everyone seems to have um, I actually had a uh, descent path continue this descending 
actually had a nice setting um, that I found worked for the nose wheel steering component and that setting with this new update seems to be irrelevant now it's uh, back to the way it was initially which is really disappointing so interested in seeing what everyone else thinks uh, when they get their hands on the update uh, later tonight and into tomorrow morning Not sure why the aircraft brought our speed all the way down to 200 knots. That's strange. Uh, so we're going to take over uh, descent. We'll manage the LNAV and VNAV descent here for the rest of the flight. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude is one zero zero feet. Recall checked. Auto break level two. Landing data. V ref. Check. Set and checked. Completed. Descent checklist complete. Put the seatbelt signs to on. Seatbelts on. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck. We'll begin our descent to your destination here in just a moment. On behalf of the flight crew and staff, I want to thank you for flying with us today, and I hope that you choose us for all your flying needs in the future. Thank you. I did uh, forget to mention we are online on Vatsim. Uh, no ATC on at the moment, and not many aircrafts flying around this evening, so uh, we're solo into LAX. We've already uh, called our initial descent, and then we'll call final um, once we're on the, uh, once we're fully established for 248. Uh, not only was the NGXU or the 737 and 738 products, well, 738 and 739 products updated this evening from PMDG, they also released the expansion pack of the 736 and 737 as well. Because uh, only about 20 25 bucks for those of us that uh, already own the initial package here of the NGXU. Again, I'm not sure what kind of additional features they may have added, uh, but to my knowledge, it's uh, pretty much the same. They just modeled the exterior of the aircraft. Uh, not really interested in purchasing it. I generally only fly the 3.8 and 3.9, especially if it has the taxi issues um, that is apparent here in the initial package of the NGXU. Continue that descent now. Uh, based above 9,000, so we'll dial in 9,000 here. Our next altitude restriction, or speed restriction, I should say, is Simon at 250 knots. Approach checklist. 
3014 set. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I am running the uh, recently released, about a week and a half, two weeks now, um, sound pack by Immersive Audio for the NGXU and NGX. like it better so far um, in terms of the exterior and uh, interior sounds. It's a lot more bearable, at least from the outside here. Some decent uh, updates in the uh, cockpit as well with the switches and the knobs, dials, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, decrease our rate of descent here so we can start to slow down to that 240 or 250 speed restriction. Uh, they've also tweaked the sounds with the immersive audio sound pack to uh, Additionally, enhance the Butt Kicker Gamer 2 experience or any sort of uh, bass vibrator component that you may be using with your simulator. Uh, it is certainly no uh, noticeable. Uh, job well done by those folks there at Immersive Audio. Right now, I'm deploying the spoilers here and uh, definitely feeling my seat rumble as you would uh, being on the actual aircraft. Definitely still notice it's a bit heavy on frames. Our real test will certainly be um, coming in the LAX here. Uh, down over at LAX, uh, Anybills released a new profile or dynamic lighting profile for uh, Los Angeles. Uh, they're using LED lights now, I think, going forward in all their dynamic profiles that they'll create. Uh, LAX is one of the first airports that they've tested that with. Uh, so it'll be our first time coming in and checking that out here in the nighttime.
after Gato um, were essentially radar vectors to um, the final approach course, but as I mentioned, no ATC on, so I will do that here uh, via Unicom and uh, guide ourselves in here uh, as needed. Certainly seeing some performance issues a bit here as we uh, fly over Los Angeles Airport and uh, SoCal, Southern California RBX. All right, we'll make our next restriction 4,000 feet here. Heading select. Flaps one. Flaps one. Thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. Kevin secure, thank you. Set heading one two zero. Heading one two zero set. Set heading two zero zero. Light slope alive. Check. One thousand to look. Heading two zero. Zero. Set. Laps five. Laps five.
set heading 240. Heading 240, set. VOR look. Definitely seeing some frames here, uh, some frame drops. Los Angeles traffic, Boeing 738, 10 mile final, 24 right, Los Angeles traffic. Laps 10. Laps 10. Ops 15, gear down. Ops 15, gear down. I have control. You have control. Seven miles to go here. A bit low, we're correcting. Laps 25. Laps 25. Auto marker. I checked. Missed approach altitude set. Lap's 30. Lap's 30. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Lapse. 30, green light. Landing checklist complete. Landing. Check. It doesn't check. I could see if I could see that uh, famous In and Out burger on final. Five hundred feet. Stable. <laughs> oh, there it is. Approaching minimums. Minimum. Round 
damage visible. Landing. Check. 30, 20, 10. Speed break up. Versus all. Check. Sixty knots. Auto brake disarmed. Checked. Check. All right. Check. Should have vacated at uh, Zulu, but we'll keep rolling. No worries. Check. Uh, Fifty-five minutes airtime. Look at that, that herky-jerky staring. It's so annoying. Los Angeles traffic. Boeing 738 crossing 2-4 uh, left. Los Angeles traffic. Here left. Los Angeles traffic clear all runways, taxi to parking, last call, Los Angeles traffic. Alright, what did we say? We're parking uh, Bravo 12. Guys, the steering is so bad. So let me uh, show you your options here. Steering feel, using rate base. That's what I had it on before the update, and it sort of uh, made things a lot more bearable, but uh, that obviously isn't working now. So if we do curve... Seems to be a bit better. It's not as jerky on the movements. Let's try curved for now. Yeah, it's still a little bit jerky, but it's uh, a little bit more manageable. You know, we were going to fly this for the stream on Friday. I honestly don't think I want to anymore. We may go back to the labs. Um, I mean, it's... The 737 from PMDG is great. 
for it being really the only uh, nicely simulated 737 in the sim uh, but they could do so much better it's just not as immersive you got this steering issue I really don't want to spend the entire Friday evening stream complaining about this stuff so we may go back to labs uh, it's just mind-boggling that uh, a freeware product in X-Plane like Zebo can nail this stuff and um, PMDG can't seem to get it together. No icing, no any of that stuff. I mean, come on, guys. And they still charge $130 plus for the aircraft, including the expansion pack. But, uh, we'll go up one more alleyway and then we'll enter the ramp there. APU is available. Turn off soft. Uh, there's the LED lighting I was talking about. I think it uh, looks a lot better than obviously default default doesn't have a doesn't have dynamic lighting here for FFG, fs dream team uh, klax but certainly even better than the initial dynamic lighting profile that uh, any builds made those guys do some fantastic work especially for freeware products all right lights off so we don't blind our marshaller right, let's pull in here for parking Air is good. Uh, APU is available. We'll kill two. We'll kill lights and doors. Check. Up at the ground. Go ahead. Please yep. connect external power. Doors disarmed. APU on the bus. We're not at three minutes yet. No worries. Look at this. So spoiled with uh, FS Labs. I forgot you actually have to deboard the aircraft yourself. I, well, actually, I wouldn't call it spoiled. It's uh, just the reality of today's sim. I mean, even Aerosoft has GSX integration. I mean, come on. Captain, the GPU is connected. Thank you, sir. That's ground power. All right, uh, that is going to do it for us this evening, folks. Again, um, sorry things were a little, I guess, out of sequence or herky jerky uh, as it relates to my normal uh, flow for streams and recording here but tonight was primarily about again testing out my new microphone making sure we had the sound levels and feedback and all that stuff sorted out prior to the stream on friday um, as well as i wanted to try out the uh the ngx uh u update again uh, not impressed i think it does the job in terms of uh 
giving us a uh, 737 in the sim to fly uh, but certainly lacks uh, a lot of things that um, is uh, well within the capabilities of PMDG. It's uh, just disappointing, but uh, it is what it is. I think we'll go with the labs on Friday instead. I think the title for the stream says uh, we're going to do NGXU Southwest Hops. Uh, I think I'm going to change that and we'll go with the labs. Unless you guys uh, feel differently, feel free to let me know. Until then, we will see you on Friday. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.